Hi everyone, it's Anthony here again and I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on reaching day 12 of the 30 day challenge. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the published content module within Market Samurai to publish an article directly to your blog. Now I am going to assume that you've been following Caro's fantastic advice from day 5 and that you already have your next article ready to go. So here I am in Market Samurai and in preparation for this video I've been investigating the piano for beginners niche. Now I'm not suggesting that this is a special niche in any way, it's just one that I know a little about so I thought I'd use it as an example. To access the published content module in Market Samurai all you have to do is click on the Publish Content tab over here in the navigation panel. Now to create a new document I just have to come up and click the New Document button. This gives me a fully functional editing window right within Market Samurai. I can then copy and paste my article text into this editing area. So here I have an article that I've written that focuses on the how to play piano songs keyword. The first thing I'll do is copy and paste the title of my article into the top box in Market Samurai. Next, I can just copy and paste the body of my article. Using the buttons at the top of the screen, I can format my text. So let's just make some of these titles bold. And one more. And once I'm done, I'll come down and click the Save Draft button just to make sure that I always have a saved draft. Now before I publish this article to my blog, I can also use Market Samurai to tag my post with relevant keywords. So here's how you can find relevant tags for your blog posts. First of all, I'll switch to the Keyword Research tab, which is over here on the left. Next, I'll select the keyword that my article is based on. In this case, it's based on the keyword how to play piano songs. To find keywords that are suitable for tagging a post, I generally use the following filter settings. I use an SEO T value of 10, just so that the keywords have at least a small amount of traffic associated with them. I'll leave the PBR at 15, and for tag keywords, I'm not too worried about the number of websites competing for the term, so I'm going to raise this to 100,000. Now I just want to clarify what I'm doing here. In order to find related keywords with which to tag my new blog post, I'm returning to the keyword research data for the category keyword which inspired my article, and I'm changing my filters to be an SEO T value of 10, a phrase to broad match ratio of 15 and an SEO C value of 100,000. Now these values are specific to finding tag keywords. I can now go through this list and tick the keywords that I think are a good match for my current article. There are no hard and fast rules about the number of tags you should have. If you can find between 5 and 10 relevant keywords that'll be fine. So I'm just going to go through this list now and click the keywords that I think are relevant to my article on how to play piano songs. Now that I've selected my tag keywords, all I have to do is go down to the drop down box at the bottom of the screen and select the copy tags with comma separated option. Market Samurai then informs me that the tags have been copied to my clipboard. Having identified the tags for my new article, I can now return to the Publish Content module. Here I can see the draft of my article, How to Play Piano Songs, 
and to edit my article I just need to come over here and click on the icon of the pencil. I then come down to the bottom box, click into the box and right click and select paste and my tags are pasted into this area here. And now I'm ready to publish my new article directly from Market Samurai to my blog. So I'll just come down here to the bottom right hand corner and click on the publish button. Now if you've already set up your WordPress direct account you'll be able to select it from this drop down box. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to go over how to create a new account from scratch. The first thing to do is to select a new WordPress Direct account from this drop down box. I then enter an account name, which is just an internal name for Market Samurai. I can then enter my WordPress Direct username and password. Then all I have to do is click the Add Account button. Market Samurai then retrieves a list of my blogs. I can select my site from this drop down box and then I can choose when I want my post to be published. I have the option to publish it immediately or alternatively I can choose to publish it on a specific date. To select a date I just click on the date field and then use this calendar. Alternatively, I can choose to publish a specific number of days after my last scheduled post. As I previously haven't set up any posts, this would become my first scheduled post, which would be published in four days' time. The Publish as a Draft option publishes my article up to my blog as a draft but it will not be immediately displayed on my blog. For this example, I'm going to go up and choose the Publish Immediately option. Down here in the Category section, I can specify which category I want my article to be published to. You'll notice here that Market Samurai has made a suggestion and I'm going to accept that as a default. The next section over here tells Market Samurai what to do after it has published my new article to my blog. This is one of my favourite sections as it just saves so much time and effort and gives you an incredible amount of leverage. The first section allows me to choose the keywords I want to associate with my new article in the Rank Tracker module. These new keywords at the top are my tag keywords while these keywords below are the ones that I already had set up in my previous article. If you followed along with my video on day 9, you would have added your theme keyword and your category keyword to the Rank Tracker module. So that is what you'll probably see here. Here is my theme keyword and these are my category keywords. The article I wrote was based on the category keyword How to Play Piano Songs. So this is the most relevant keyword to associate with my new post. I'm not going to track my tag keywords because when I have a lot of posts I don't necessarily want to be tracking every single tag keyword. The final option down here is to add the account domain to Rank Tracker. Now I don't need to check this box because my domain is already being tracked. So the next thing I can do is automatically submit my article to Traffic Bug. And once again, this saves me a lot of time and effort. So all I have to do is click on this checkbox and then I can see the Traffic Bug fields. This account name field is just my friendly internal name for my account. So I'll just type in Anthony's Traffic Bug. Now I can enter in the email and password I use to create my traffic bug account. And then I can click the add account button. Now I can select a category for my new post and for this example I'll select the other and general category. Now here I can enter my title variations. You'll notice the Market Samurai gives me one title by default and now I can enter some variations. 
Now that I've entered my titles, I can also go on and enter up to six different descriptions for my articles. For this example, I've just entered in three descriptions. As I scroll down, you'll also notice the Market Samurai pre-populates the keyword fields using the tag keywords I associated with my post. Now this next section allows you to set the aggression level and whether you want to submit to RSS directories, build backlinks and submit to search engines. I'm just going to accept the defaults here. So having set up my rank tracking and traffic bug options, I can now click the Publish New Article button. Market Samurai then gets down to some serious work. It connects to WordPress Direct and publishes my new article to my blog in the correct category and with the appropriate tags. It also copies the URL of my new post to the Rank Tracker module. Next, it connects to Traffic Bug, adds a URL to my project and provides Traffic Bug with the titles and descriptions it needs to kick off an avalanche of social bookmarking and link building. So I hope you can see the incredible amount of leverage you can get by publishing content using the Market Samurai Publish Content module. That's all from me for today, so I'll say bye for now and I'll look forward to seeing you later on in the challenge.